Hi, I'm Jilly from Baby Sleep Made Simple. The video you are about to watch is me answering a question sent in by a tired mom on our Facebook Live Q&A call. I hope you enjoy it. Well, when teaching babies to sleep better, we always begin at bedtime. So the first thing that I recommend for any parent when they don't know where to start, they, they know their baby's sleep is crazy, <laughs> they want to get their baby sleeping well, but they have no idea where to start. The first place to start, I've laid out all the steps for you, and they're in my free Exhausted Mom Survival Kit. Then what we want to do is we want to get him sleeping longer stretches at night. Depending on your baby's growth and weight gain, he can be, he can be expected to have one or maybe two night feeds. But that's generally it, unless he was born prematurely and he really struggles to gain weight. If that's the case, that's different. He needs to eat more often, but the average seven month old who's growing well, um, whose doctor's completely happy with his growth, can be expected to eat only once or twice in the night. So we can wean you down to that. And how we do that is we get him off nursing to sleep and we get him falling asleep on his own at bedtime. And then once he gets used to that, then he'll stop waking up so much at night because he knows how to fall back asleep during the night. And then once your night sleep is going really well, then we work on naps. For a seven month old, just make sure he is sleeping every two to three hours during the day. And feel free to put him in the swing, in the stroller, in the baby carrier. Um, those are all completely fine. If he's in the crib or the bassinet, you don't need to supervise his naps, but anywhere else, go ahead and supervise his naps. And if you guys ever have questions that come up during the week, you can certainly send me a message on Facebook or on Instagram. 